Now, 27 storm track weather with meteorologist Max Saperis. Definitely want to find a little time outside because it's going to be summer warmth as we head through the next couple of days. And it's a rather dry heat too, so comfortable. Uh, though again, pretty toasty. We're going to get to the mid 80s this afternoon, but look even hotter tomorrow at 88, making a run at the 90 degree mark on Friday. I think we fall just shy of that in Madison, but down towards the south near Janesville, maybe a touch warmer. 79 is our average high this time of year, so we're well above that as we round out the week. Pool day forecast. Yeah, that would be a nice place to be right now, wouldn't it? High time's going to get to the mid 80s this afternoon with mostly sunny skies. And then as we get towards later this evening, still in the 70s as we round out the night, winds out of the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. So our changing weather pattern can all be associated with our jet stream setup. The jet streams made up of fast moving winds in the upper levels of the atmosphere, about the levels at which planes fly, around 35,000 feet up. We're in between weather systems here, but notice our wind flow at about 35,000 feet up. Is coming out of the southwest, certainly a warmer direction, going to favor the northern plains for the bullseye of the heat. But even here in the Badger State, we're still going to be plenty warm. As we get towards Friday, still toasty, but then into the weekend, I'm tracking this low pressure system up in Canada. That's going to bring us rain chances. It's also going to make us a little milder with the increased wet weather and, of course, increased cloud cover, too. Live look outside from the Constellation Building over East Washington Avenue. Just a couple cars out there. Hopefully they have the windows down or maybe even have the AC on today because it's a little on the warm side. The UV index forecast, once again, very high. We're approaching our highest sun angle of the year, which happens on the solar Solstice, which is coming up this weekend on Saturday. UV index of an 8 means you can expect a sunburn in as little as 15 to 25 minutes today if you don't wear sunscreen. So wear sunscreen if you plan on being outside for a long time. Also, that water bottle will be plenty handy too. We're going to be tracking a UV index similar levels tomorrow and then a little bit lower as we head into the weekend. That's because again, clouds will increase. You can see that system moving in from the west with a couple showers out towards the Dakotas. More widespread rain on the backside of that system in Montana. So for now, our area is controlled by high pressure. That's keeping us nice and dry, but also allowing a warming trend because winds go clockwise around highs. So we'll get a little flow out of the south today and that continues into tomorrow, which will slowly but surely warm us up to even hotter levels to be well above average for the rest of this week. So toastier on Thursday, still looking rather warm on Friday, and we get a touch more humidity by Friday too, and that's because we have an isolated storm chance rolling through as this boundary comes closer to our area by Saturday. I think that's going to be the wettest of the weekend with widespread showers and storms, maybe some dry time, uh, but certainly going to be more active than we've seen all week long. A few storms even possible on Sunday as we have another front developing over the Midwest, but I think those are going to be spottier in nature, more pop up and therefore more dry time anticipated. Your recap 85 today dry and warm tonight 61 mostly clear and mild and tomorrow we'll get back to the upper 80s and we don't stop there. We'll get to the upper 80s to around 90 by Friday with an isolated storm threat. Scattered storms now looking more likely for Saturday for the first day of summer. Father's Day is Sunday more pop up storms possible so definitely more active weather for the weekend before milder next week and still looks like an active weather pattern. Carolina yeah. was looking at extended uh, computer models uh -huh. into next week and it does look like uh, more passing showers and storms as we get later in the week. So okay. this dry stretch of weather is going to be short lived, but plan on watering those plants until yeah. that rain gets here. And if you want to get outside, enjoy it while it lasts. Exactly. Max, thank you. Yep.